Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make two different colored screens by using Sony Vegas. Usually you can only do an After Effects that I found a tutorial on YouTube that helped me. And I'm going to teach you how to do it today. So, open Sony Vegas. Insert media. And go with the same one. Put in all your effects and everything. Oops. Uh -oh. This is my quality that I use all the time. Okay. This is a pretty easy tutorial. A little tricky at first, but you'll get used to it. Okay, and I'll show you how this. Just your clip sitting there, doing nothing. Insert a video track, copy, copy this one, paste it above the first one, so now there's two. Go to the top one, go to event pan slash crop, go to masking. I already have one set up, two colored screen mask is what I have it, and so you can see that I masked it like that. I'm going to show you guys what you should do. Uh, select your anchor creation tool and click right here and go however much you want it I'm not really gonna take my time on it I'm just gonna put it right there I don't care if it's not straight or not just make sure you make it straight or just be stupid if it wasn't so now you have this there it's all black and shit there so you want it on positive if it's negative you have it black up there you don't want it like that. Disable doesn't have anything, so just put it positive. Feather type, put it on both. And then, I don't know if you, this matters or anything, but I usually just put two, three. So you guys can save your template after you straighten it and everything. And I'm just going to put mine on because it's like perfect. Oh, and one more thing. Sorry, I forgot. When you guys do your thing, uh, Hold on. Let me do it. Wow, that is pretty straight, I guess. Both again. And the feather type, don't listen to what I said. Don't put it on two or three. Take this and move it. Just like this. So if it's at zero, go back, go to your feather type. Instead of pressing these arrow keys, press this one. And then it should have this thing in the workspace. It's not really part of workspace or anything, but it's like buy it and just move it all the way up so it's at 50. And it'll look like that. Don't listen to me on 2 or 3, which is stupid. I totally forgot about that. I just learned this today, so yeah. And then, you want to go to video effects, I'm already there. Go up to, you can go to anyone. I use color balance all the time, color corrector. But I put in this one by accident supposed to be that but I just put in these midtones and shit. I just randomly did it, I just put this in and then made it with the color. So today I'm gonna select orange. Now you'll see that it's up like that, like an after effect. You can do it shadow, that just looks stupid. Midtone, pretty good. I don't know why it's changing the color. Highlight, I kinda like highlight. So yeah, just, I guess I'll have to do a highlight. And then, that's about it, really. It just goes with it. It's a pretty simple tutorial. Um, this was impressed, again, by my friend. So, I hope you guys learn from this. I hope you guys use this in one of your montages. I know that I'm going to use it. But, um, yeah, good luck with it. And, peace out.